Hey guys please watch my video till end because the quality content which I will provide you in or less than 3 minutes will be priceless and very useful to you it might change your life so I don't think you will skip my video so let's start the powerful video. When you cut off carbohydrates from your diet, your body goes through a number of metabolic adjustments and adjustments to adapt to the new diet. Carbohydrates are your body's major source of energy, and when broken down, they are converted into glucose which is then used by the cells in your body for a variety of purposes. Before starting the video please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for new interesting videos. When you quit eating carbohydrates, you will experience the following side effects shown in my video. 1. Glycogen depletion. Glycogen is the stored form of glucose in the liver and muscles. Glycogen can be used for energy when it is depleted. When you cut off carbohydrates from your diet, your body will start drawing on its glycogen stores as a source of energy. Due to the fact that glycogen binds to water molecules, this can result in a precipitous decrease in glycogen storage, which is frequently accompanied by a reduction in total body water weight. 2. Ketosis. If you continue to limit the amount of carbohydrates you eat, your body will switch from using glucose as its primary source of energy to using fat as its primary source of energy. This causes a process known as ketogenesis to take place, which results in the synthesis of ketones. Ketones are an alternate form of fuel that can be used by the brain as well as other tissues. This metabolic state is referred to as ketosis, and diets that are low in carbohydrates or ketogenic are built on its principles. 3. A change in the source of energy occurs, in which your body begins to rely more on fats for fuel. In the liver, fat is first turned into fatty acids, which are then used in the production of ketones. Because of this process, the body is able to continue operating normally even when the amount of carbohydrates consumed is low. 4. Changes in hormones The consumption of carbohydrates causes insulin, a hormone that plays a role in the regulation of blood sugar levels, to react. Reducing the amount of carbs in your diet causes insulin levels to drop, which in turn can increase insulin sensitivity and possibly have a beneficial influence on illnesses such as type 2 diabetes. 5. Regulation of hunger. Some people find that they are better able to regulate their hunger when they consume fewer carbohydrates, particularly sugars and processed carbs. This is the case for some people. Protein and fat are both satiating meaning that eating them might make you feel full for extended periods of time. 6. Asterisk weight loss asterisk. Because glycogen is inextricably linked to water in the body, its depletion results in an initial period of fast weight loss, which is primarily due to a reduction in water weight. Because the body begins to rely more on its own fat stores for its source of energy as a result of prolonged carbohydrate restriction, this may eventually result in weight loss. Seven. Asterisk potential adverse effects asterisk. When switching to a ketogenic or low carbohydrate diet, some people may initially experience adverse effects. This is because ketosis is a metabolic state in which the body burns fat for fuel rather than carbohydrates. Symptoms of the so-called keto flu can include things like headaches, lethargy, dizziness, irritability, and constipation. These symptoms are just transitory and they usually go away as the body becomes accustomed to burning ketones for fuel. 8. Asterisk Nutrient Intake Asterisk. Carbohydrates can be a source of a variety of important nutrients as well as fiber. When cutting back on the amount of carbohydrates you eat, it is essential to make sure you are still consuming sufficient amounts of vitamins, minerals, and fiber from other kinds of food. It is important to keep in mind that different people will have different responses when their carbohydrate intake is restricted. There are those that do exceptionally well on ketogenic or low-carb diets, while others might find it more difficult to maintain such a diet. Before you make large changes to your diet, especially if you have any pre-existing health concerns, it is a good idea to talk with a healthcare expert or a certified dietitian to ensure that you are making choices that are safe and appropriate for your body's requirements. This is especially important if you are planning to make significant changes to your diet in the near future. Like, share, subscribe and comment.